are you out of touch are you are you is there a misstep between you and the larger indian sentiment about india the self image of india quickly sanjay i've got to close well uh, barkha let me tell you uh, a society is judged by the way it fights for those who actually need your support the marginalized the dispossessed the minorities and i believe today we are all caught up in this absolutely fake narrative of the so called india story being crudely defined and i'm a banker but i will tell you being crudely defined by a gdp and an fdi and an fta i believe ultimately is about are you able to give justice to your people and you know something i'll i'll put it down in black and white terms gujarat still hasn't had a closure you know i don't want to make it political but there was an amica scure who was appointed by the supreme court who did not agree with the sit and who said that there is prosecutable evidence that ought to be processed further you know we can debate on and on but the truth remains that over a thousand people died and we all know that the india that you and i live in barkha today sees a persecution of minorities on a daily basis the supreme court of india for the benefit of mr belimoria and uh, the other gentleman bharat yes supreme court of india has pulled up this government for religious polarization the supreme court of india has pulled up this government for hate speech the supreme court of india has pulled up this government and again this is the same supreme many, court you just said doesn't many, work an independent so there's an irony there right sanjay you are quoting the same supreme court criticism about an institution Uh, that you otherwise it doesn't work look i had i was going to close but i think i'll allow some brief rebuttals i think karan is wanting right. to come in let's the first yes, thing i want to make is this i come from the smallest minority community in the world i'm a zoroastrian parsi there are less than 100000 of us less than 60000 in india and i'm proud of being a zoroastrian parsi but also being an indian and a an nation in yes. britain so i'm very yes. very proud of that No, thank you for that. And I was going to say to Sanjay that both Bharat and 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 Karan are not like you know down the generation British Indian. I mean, they've they they they're from here. You know, Karan was born here. Family still here. Uh, Bharat has family still here. Uh, so these are not disconnected, deracinated uh, British Indians. Uh, Dilip, if I want to just bring you in for a last word, I do have to close them. Dilip, I think that you know issues like this. need to be closed quicker than later it's important that the narratives be complete but inevitably history is always in the voice of the victor and therefore who is chronicling that voice i think that's where the debate is right dilip when it comes to this documentary and who's the victim who's the perpetrator these are all fiercely contested from 84 to 2002 from jallianwala bag to you know what happened in the emergency under indira gandhi this carries on these debates actually never close in the final way that sanjay suggests they ought to the the voice of the victims has partially been heard in the supreme court it continues to echo elsewhere but i think the voice of the government is very clear on this there is the anxiety that this has been timed for a particular reason and that's why they've come down so heavily on this and that's the reason that we all need to look at it from that prism when this documentary first hit the headlines you sent me a text and you said you know we're all so tired of this now you're not uh, an unequivocal fan always of the modi government why did you uh, have the sort of ennui or the irritation that you did uh, thanks for having me barkha um, i think you know when i watched the documentary you know, i watched it twice now uh subjected myself to it twice now i think I, the, the instinctive reaction was what was the point of this you know um now if the documentary had put out some new information as you know frankly it only hinges on you know this particular restricted uk high commission report um that that cited extensively in the docu- uh, in in the documentary to my mind as you view it it almost seems like conjecture so that was you know rightful indignance on my part in the first instance the second is jack straw uh in an interview with Karan Thapar a few days ago i don't know if you've seen it he doesn't quite go the distance as he does in the documentary itself he sort of maintains a healthy distance between the authors and the conclusions of that report and where he stood uh, as foreign secretary of the time kamal sibal has also come out and said that there was potentially a slanted report that was doing the rounds in delhi at the time and he'd also warned uh, or rather sent warnings to diplomats about 
um, not interfering in India's internal affairs. Um, and lastly, what I find stunning is that the documentary seems to sort of um, assume that it has superiority over the wisdom and the judicial uh, verdict um, that this particular case went through for 20 odd years, really. So the message you're giving me and young folk like myself in this country is that somehow, uh, you know, a documentary, which again has, you know, a fair amount of conjecture, not a lot of evidence predicated on the testimonies of a few chosen people somehow, you know, is, is, is above uh, the law of the land uh, of India's highest courts. Um, and the government reaction, frankly, and I agree with Sanjay, I don't think is appropriate. I do, I do understand the indignance, but I don't think it's particularly the best way to deal with a situation like this. Because I think Indian public, uh, if they were allowed you, you to, you don't, do this, you don't, you don't like the documentary. You're irritated by it, but you don't agree with its censorship. Absolutely, I think the Indian public is smart enough to figure out, you know, what is what, and the documentary, frankly, does uh, does expose itself quite, quite uh, evidently as well.